Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to update SharePoint hyperlink field using Power Automate Flow. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. I am inside Office 365 SharePoint sales team site. So let's create a new list here. So if I go to site content and I will click on new, then click on list. I will create a blank list here. I will give this list a name. I will just call it sites. Click on create. Okay, so the title column is already there. Let's go ahead and create a hyperlink column. So if I click on this drop down, and then if I scroll down and select hyperlink, now on the right hand side, I need to provide the name of the column. So I will just call it web URL. And it's the hyperlink type and click on save. Now a web URL column is created. The idea of this demo is that we create a record in a shape on list, let's say title, and it automatically creates a unique web URL. So I've come across this when I was creating a, a shape on site automatically for my client through them filling a form. And as part of that, when the site is created, it needs to automatically pull the site URL and add into the hyperlink column here that video is showing on the top right description if you want to see how to provision a shape on site using power automate flow you can click on it and have a look okay so we have created a list here with title and web url let's go to power automate flow and create a flow so if i just navigate to office.com okay so from the left hand menu i need to click on power automate icon this will take me to the power automate flow landing page so from the left hand menu i need to click on create and i need to select an automated cloud flow because the flow will trigger when a new item got created in the list so if i click on that i will give this flow a name i'll just call it append url and the trigger is when an item is created and i click on create now I need to select the site address, so it's a sales team site, we know that. I will select that from this drop down, so sales team there. And the list we are talking here is a sites, so the list name is sites. I will need to get the sites list. Okay, the next step we need to add here is we need to add an action, which is sending an HTTP request to SharePoint. So if I click on new step, so I type send an HTTP, so you can see there's an action here, send an HTTP request to SharePoint. So I will select that. So the request you can send it to the site, which is our sales team site. So I will select that from the list sales team. Okay. So the method is going to be post because we are posting that request. The URI here is underscore API forward slash web forward slash list. So we trying to retrieve the list and then we get the list by get by title and then in single quotes i will give the name of that list which is sites close the course close the parenthesis and then forward slash items because we need to retrieve the current item to update it and then we open this code and we need to select the id of this created item so we retrieve the current item and close the parenthesis so that's our uri will look like in the header we need to put a few headers here first is the content type this is going to be application forward slash json semicolon for data equal to verbals so that's our first header the second header is x hyphen http hyphen method the method we're going to use here is merge and the third one is if match then asterisk okay so that's our header now let's go into the body. I will show you a notepad where I added the information which will go into the body. So let's copy that and I will then explain what it is. So if I control C and go control V and add into the body. Now sp.data.list name. So this list name needs to be same as your SharePoint list name, which is sites in our case. So I will just change this to sites. That's the list name here. We can we can see here as well. Okay. Now the column internal name make sure that the column which you have created a web url we need to use internal name of the column you can't use the display name so if i go to the list list settings and then if i go to this web url column okay so for this column settings you can see in the url 
this is the field name so that's the internal name of this column we need to copy that and use it in the flow because sometimes you might have a display name like this web url it will not match the schema name so for example i've changed the display name to just web url now so if i go to the site list my display name is different but my internal name is web url without a space so that's the schema name we need to use in the flow if i go back to the flow and change this column internal name to the name of that column which is a hyperlink column and now we need to provide two things here the description of the column and the url so the description of the column we can maybe provide the title of this item when it's got created and the url for the column this could be anything in my case it was shape and root side url uh, forward slash sides and then the name of the side which is the alias basically so if I just do the same thing here, every size get created under this URL in SharePoint. So if I just take the URL here and also I put the title of the site next to it. So that's going to be a unique URL based on the title. This is how you will update a hyperlink column in a SharePoint list. Let's click on save and test this flow. So if I click on save, the append URL flow is saved successfully. Now, if I go back to the sales team site, list and i click on new and if i type the title just call it microsoft for example and i will not provide any url i will click on save i will wait for the flow to run and append the url here so it will be this base site address forward slash sites and forward slash microsoft that's what i'm expecting here let's go back to the flow and if i click on this back arrow it will take me to the flow landing page where we can see the history of the flow run flow hasn't run yet so i'm just waiting for it to complete we'll refresh a few times and when we'll see something in the history that means that flow has run successfully okay so now we can see the flow run successfully if i click on this date i can see the detail of the flow okay so when item was created there was a trigger and we have sent an http request to sharepoint with this metadata so we can see that the site list name is site and the item id is one so it successfully retrieved that item and then posted the message back with the url so if i go back to sales team and i can see this microsoft web url is created so if i hover over it you can see in the bottom left the url exists so if i click on it it will take me to the url but of course this site was not created so the url doesn't exist so just wrap up this video today you have learned how to update SharePoint hyperlink field using Power Automate flows. All you need to do is create a send an HTTP request to SharePoint action inside the flow and configure it like I did. Thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or any other query related to Office 365, put in the comment section below. I review the comments on a daily basis. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.